Hello and welcome Commander Lovers. For this week's Rogue Wednesday, I'm continuing the Commander 2017 theme. Um, I've got Tygum, Ojitai Master, and this deck was this card was really hyped uh, during the preview season, but I think it got um, silenced a little bit by all the better commanders that kind of came out after it. Um, and uh, when you actually go to build it, it's a bit of tension um, between some of the abilities like the, uh, the the first ability is obviously really good instants and sorceries and Dragons, I mean it says dragons. I'm not I'm not really playing. I'm playing one dragon in this deck um, Dragon Lord Ojitai um, But uh, can't be countered by spells or abilities. So that's pretty good. The second one gives your spells rebound um, but you, whenever you cast an instant and sorcery from your hand, if Tygum Ojitai Ma Master attacked this turn, that spell gets rebound. So it doesn't work on your opponent's turn. It doesn't work on Ancestral Vision or something like that. Um, it only works in your second main phase. So it's white-blue. A lot of times you're going to want to be playing, uh, you know, um, land draw or Drago control kind of white blue kind of a deck and to have to play cards on your own second main phase um well you want them to be cheap and it doesn't work with counter spells counter spells with rebound doesn't really make any sense anyways but your counter spells are uncounterable so i try not to play up this second ability too much there are a few things that could be pretty good with that ability obviously extra turn spells pretty good um some spells like you know mystic confluence and cryptic command that are modal can be pretty good um and uh you know um, wrath not but you need wraths for the meta game um so i try not to play up that too much one one thing um it has to be an instant if you want to do it this way, but uh, Shadow Rift, for example, you can attack with Tygem, cast Shadow Rift, and then uh, before blockers, and then that works. And the same works for God's Willing and Face Shield and those kind of uh, protection spells. So there's other creatures in the deck that you want to like let get in, Geist of Saint Traff, Daxos, um, and then just other creatures in general that are good. Um, some of them are just intended as blockers that uh, gain you value. So, but you might be able to get things out of the way and get in for damage and maybe get some rebound. I don't know if it's going to be very good. There's definitely some weird tension in the deck. Uh, bribery, by the way, might be fun to cast. Uh, you know, you swing with Tygum and you get a bribery and then you get another bribery. Maybe. Um, but uh, we'll see. I, I, I'm a little skeptical. I wanted this to be really good. This is actually one of my favorite commanders from this, the from the new set. But when you go to build it, it just uh, which by the way, I was actually going to play with Inala, which is you know whenever you another non-token wizard enters the battlefield under your control, if Inala Archmage Ritualist is in the command zone or in the battlefield, you may pay one. If you do create a copy of that wizard, it seems really powerful. Um, it gains haste and you exile it at the beginning of the next turn. But there just aren't enough wizards. There just aren't nearly enough wizards to uh, especially enter the battlefield or ones that get some sort of value from you, uh, you having them with haste or something like that. There's just not nearly enough. And so I couldn't I couldn't make it work. I don't know if uh, maybe if somebody has a magical Inala deck list that they came up with. Um, let me know, but man, I cannot make that. Uh, there just doesn't seem to be enough. I really wanted this one to work. This one looks really cool, but there's just so few wizards with Enter the Battlefield's abilities. I mean, obviously, it's super good with Snapcaster Mage, but that's about where it ends. So, um, I'm going to try out Tygum instead. Let's see how it goes. All right, I got a match. I am on the play. Playing against Lazav. Zab has hexproof, but yeah, I'll uh, I'm gonna try and keep his hand anyways. Human monk, elder dragon. All right, we'll keep it.
probably should have led with Island. I don't think there's a high chance I'm swordsing anything on turn one. All right. Um. Does this stop? It becomes a copy, so it doesn't stop Glenelendra. All right, Essence Scatter, very, very good. I don't quite know what I want to name here on this cavern. Hoping I don't have to name anything next turn, and I do. I think wizard. I hope it I hope they fixed it. I definitely don't want to name fairy. And I don't want to play Glenelendra when I can't activate the ability. Hundred percent countering Lizav if my opponent plays it. Doesn't look like they're interested in doing that. Alright. I'm just gonna say go. I'd like another land so that I can keep up this essence scatter. Not missing land reps yet, so land go is probably the way I want to go with this. Tech Edge. You gonna use it? Nope, doesn't look like they're using it. Let's get Tundra. Yeah, let's get Tundra. And let, we'll actually leave that and that untapped. So, yep, yeah, they apparently have fixed cavernous souls. Opponent looks like they want to counter it. It doesn't do anything. Tapping down mana? I'm confused. I maybe should have left basic lands up. I didn't think about this tech edge. Actually gets me. Yep, opponent goes for the tech edge. I kind of goofed there. I'm letting them resolve a, a Lazav. And I don't have much I can do about that thing once it comes into play. Revoker. All right. Well, it's not Lazav. And I can swords it. Predictably playing Glenelendra. There's a Signet. I wouldn't encounter that anyways. Come on, land. Face shields. Okay. Uh, do I want to trade damage? No. 
Let's just say go. It's a shame to have missed a land drop, but... Looking at Essence Scatter, Lazav, Oganti. I'm going to sort this thing. Oh, geez, another one? They got reanimate. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, what? There absolutely was something I could have done about that. I could have swords this. I was going to swords it anyways, and I could have countered it. <sighs> Misplays. All right, let's hope it doesn't end up hurting me too much. That is a land drop. Well, I'm not blocking. I wonder what they picked up. It's probably an instant or a sorcery. It's most of what's in my deck. Nope. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. We need three blue. So counter target spell or draw a card. Mystic Confluence, that's pretty darn good. All right, let's just, uh, once again, not blocking. I'm gonna play that untapped. I don't wanna put myself in a position where I'm quacking and they're doing something in response. Counter target spell, draw a card. Oh, no, draw two cards, counter target spell. All right, we drew a vapor snag and a land. hasn't shown any counter spells. I'm going to play Tygum. Oh wait, no, I can't keep up. I thought I had eight lands. I have seven. Can't deal with the Zob in many ways except for countering it. So I want to make sure that I'm countering it. All right, they played a tap land. It's actually unfortunate. I was hoping they'd be able to play Lazav. Um, they have to, you know, like, you have to just keep on jamming, right? No, 
they're doing it. Uh, counter target creature spell, draw a card. I could also bounce my Glenelindra. That might have been correct. Alright, well this allows pretty good. We'll just go ahead and Ancestral. Swing again. Just a very slow race. Um, face Shields doesn't protect it from Duplicant. So that's not something I could have done. Going for it again. All right, uh, Jay's friend's prodigy. Interesting. seems pretty good seems almost better than Tigum sadly like I want to play Tigum at some point but uh... getting pretty close to playing Dragonlord Ojitai certainly taking Dragonlord Ojitai. Although we can just Vapor Snag that and then cast our Ojitai. I might be looking to do that. Alright, they took the Faith Shield. Which, if I need that, I can just take it back. Opponent elects not to attack. They might have just misclicked. And they pass the turn. Ancestral ticks down. Bribery. Well, that's interesting. What do you what do you have in your deck that we could bribe? Let's let's do this thing. Misdirection, probably not necessary. Um, I can Dragon Lord or Ojitai. I can bribe them. I can bring something back which I think I'd rather bring the Briary back. Let's take this up. And yeah, they don't know about the bribery. So let's lead with the Ojitai. Can I keep as much blue as possible up? So blue, white, colorless, white, blue. There we go.
Alright. So they do have counter spells in their deck. All right, so what do we what do we got going going on here? Imprisoned in the moon. I'm gonna let that go. Opponent plays a fell war stone. Certainly not gonna counter that with Glenelendra. Ancestor Vision goes down to one. Force of Will, pretty good. Um, might as well attack here as well. All right, we uh, land a hit with Dragon Marojitai, which always feels really good. Uh, I'm actually, I don't know, should I take the island? I'm going to take the island. I don't see myself casting that dismiss this turn. Let's bribe them. What's the best card in your deck? Notion Thief, Pain Seer, Infiltrator, Shriek Maw. Hex Mage, Vizier. Interesting. Vizier can't be Ojitai, can be Glenelendra, and then it comes back. Or it's that or Notion Thief. All of the rest of these are pretty. Return all blue creatures your opponent control. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think another Glenelendra can't be all bad. Opponent is going to far the Glenelendra. Oh, it goes back to their... Oh, man, that was a mistake. Oh, I forgot how Persist works. I shouldn't even have grabbed that if that was the case. Dang it. They're going to copy Dragonlord Ojitai, almost certainly. And that's going to be very bad. Oh, no, they cast, they do the, the Glenelendra. All right. I mean, we could have Vapor Snagged Dragon Lord Ojitai. So that's probably the right choice, but they don't know that we have a, maybe they do have, know we have a Vapor Snag. Yeah, they know we have a Vapor Snag. All right, they cast a Jace. I'm clearly just going to Glenelendra that. Force of Willing, it just gets it Glenelendra itself. All right, they're swinging in. Everything, I assume. Unless they're going to block with Glenelendra. Nope, doesn't look like they're going to block with Glenelendra. Well, they can, they're probably going to use Glenelendra to counter the Ancestral Vision. In which case, that was a very poor play on my behalf. I 
forgot how persist works. It's their owner's hand. Do I care about that? I'm trying to get him to use this uh, this Glenelandra instead of on my Ancestral Vision. I need one or the other. I can't have both my Dragon Lord gone and I have to recast it and I lose my Ancestral Vision. Um, they have Spell Pierce. I'm going to force a will to Spell Pierce, I think. I can't Spell Pierce it. They have something else in their hand that's bad for us. But if they have to use a Glenelandra on a stupid Cyclonic Rift, that's great for me. The Spell Pierce that I exiled wasn't, wasn't going to do much at this point. My opponent has so much mana. All right. So that's what they decided to do. And so I get the Ancestral Vision. Uh, let's replay the Dragon Lord, I think. Let's look at my opponent's hand. Ugin. Holy crap. Can I do anything about Ugin? Ugin gets rid of the Imprison of the Moon. Let's play this guy. Take the island. I'm going to play Tigum. It's sad that I'm playing it as bait. Glad I looked at my opponent's hand. Jeez. That Ugin is nuts. Yeah, if I spell queller this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they would have had to have drawn a land. Hogan is eight, right? Hogan is eight. Did they draw a land? Did they draw a land? I guess I have to gamble. Because then they just get the brain maggot again. Pain costs, murderous cut. All right, that's too bad.
I'd probably be in a much better position if I hadn't uh, played that Vizier. I should have just gone for the, uh, the Notion Thief. Opponent still would have farted. It's the danger with uh, bribery against blue decks. They just they often just have a bounce spell and they can just return it to their own hand. So uh, our hand is really good though. And if they don't take the reflector reflector mage, we can just get back whatever. Yeah, they take the reflector mage. Gonti's coming in. So I'm going to the nine. Oh, no, not coming in. Yeah, because he can block Tigum. What do you still have? Oh, Embalm. Oh, geez. I forgot. I should not have done that Vizier. That was like the worst play ever. Maybe just the bribery wasn't good against a blue opponent, but I don't know. All right, the double brain maggot. This makes Ugin super not good. Because we get back Jace, we get back Reflector Mage, and we get back whatever else they uh, they play here. Or grab here. Um, I don't know what it is. They grab the Dragon Lord. Okay. Oh my god. That is like the best draw ever. That's just insane. So I guess we put it on Tigum. <laughs> My opponent says that's annoying. Yeah, that was an incredible draw. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's white. Oh, it's white. Oh, yeah, I missed that. Because, yeah, that's how Vizier works. It makes it white. I, I should have noticed the color border. I just saw the black mana cost. I thought it was black. Um, so my opponent can Ugin. I didn't get the Ugin out of their hands, which is upsetting. I really wanted to get the Ugin out of their hand. Do I block here? I guess not. I don't know. I could block with Seagate. He's probably just Ooganinging.
He has to Ugin for four. That makes Dragon Lord Ojitai pretty good. It doesn't kill the swords. This is definitely Ugin. All right. Three damage to my face. All right. Yeah, I guess. Can we survive that? Yeah, I guess we can. I probably should have blocked. No, they can. Yeah, because they can Ugin for five. Hmm. It's actually hard. I can attack it and do seven to it. Then they can't minus it. They can just plus it so I can play the Dragon Lord. But then I don't get these abilities. I think that's actually the best option because if I attack him, then he minuses it and no, he can't kill me. He has no cards in hand. This is tough. Yeah, I'm going to attack him. Or, uh, Ugin. It's really close. I have to jump block Gonti now. So they hit a removal spell. No, no, because I can kill Ugin. So they can do three, three to me right now. I kill Ugin. No, I can't. Yeah, no, I have to kill Ugin with this thing in order to make sure the removal spell doesn't do it. This is so close. It's all because of that stupid vizier. All right, opponent, it looks like they're playing the card in their hand. Never. All right. I don't think that's enough. Three damage. Because now they don't have any cards in my hand, their hand. I don't have to worry about removal. This is 12. This is 12. My opponent is at 12. They can put me to one. Is there anything special in their graveyard? I don't see any any tricks or anything like that. I guess they can play Lazav. Flocking isn't an option here.
return I think that does it. Oh, that was so close. I'm sorry for all the misplays, guys. Um, I still think that was an interesting match, though. I hope, I hope you weren't shouting at the screen too much for that one. I'll, I'll try to do better in the following matches, but I'm definitely going to include this one. This was a crazy match. All right, I got another game. I am on the draw. I'm playing against Daxos. I have a Daxos in my hand. I'm going to keep this hand. I got uh, basically on the back of Portent. Opponent plays Island Go. And well, Portent's or, uh, mental misstep's pretty good. Now let's Portent ourselves, not my opponent. All right, it's a uh, Cryptic Command Misdirection Island. I don't know, none of those remove Daxos. But Cryptic Command's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to take it in that order. And I'm not going to shuffle it. I guess I could just block with Daxos. My opponent skipped all their land plays. I don't know if that was a mistake or if they missed a land drop. Seems like it was a mistake. I'm just going to say go. Opponent might be hesitant to actually play Daxos into three open mana. Guess not. Go ahead and play our own. I'll probably block. Unless they have a way to get this thing out of the way. This is a single spell, so it's got to be a spell. It can't be like an Oblivion Ring. Which isn't the mana for Oblivion Ring. Sower of Temptation. Can't be that either. Well, shoot. We only get to keep one. Until the end of turn, you can cast a spell. They do gain life for the Geist of Saint Draft. All right, let's just say go. If we spell call our own, one of our own spells, uh, and then the spell queller dies, we get to get that spell, I believe. We get it for free, even. They hit oust. That doesn't do anything. Uh, the ousting their own creature? I don't get that. Oh, they want it back later. Well, let's spell queller.
play a mana, say go. I'm not gonna play this bribery. I'm not gonna play Tigum. Temple of the False God. All right. Why do they want their sower dead so much? I don't see how this can go badly for me. Well, I guess if they're resurrecting it, but they're blue white. We got a cryptic command, Fell War Stone. Sun Titan? That doesn't get back. Sower of Temptation. Uh, I don't know what they're... I'm not interested in that. I kind of like my hand, honestly. Alright, well that's pretty good. Miscal, probably not the best counter spell in the world. Uh, let's do this before they untap. stuck in a situation where I'm untapping or uh, I'm sacking and they're doing something in response. Let's get that now. Sphinx of Uthun. Well, I can't miscalf that. Jeez, that is gas and a half. Starting <sighs> for this game got messed up, but this was a really interesting game. So I gave him these two piles. Um, he ended up taking the Planeswalkers and the Supreme Verdict. And I decide they're largely tapped out. Um, I cycle the miscalc. And then um, I go for the, the bribery. Probably should have kept that most cack around. Um, but my opponent's got such nuts cards in their deck. Um, if they, Because that was a crazy uh, Sphinx trigger. Um, so I'm looking at either Avacyn or Frost Titan. There's also the Ageless and, you know, a few other. There's some real hot top-end cards here. Um, and I decide that Avacyn is the way to go. It protects, it's really good against the Planeswalkers that they just drew because it can swing into them. And it's an 8-8 indestructible. And then it's really good against the Supreme Ver Verdict as well. And I've got a God's Willing and a Misdirection to stop anything that might bounce that to my hand, or his hand. So my opponent plays Narset, um, and then they reveal nothing and then they play the Gideon and they force me to attack Gideon. I decide it's worth the gods willing to make sure that the Gideon dies. That way I'm not, this is in the way, isn't it? Opponent can't really block the uh, spell queller anyways because of that jit. But the spell queller alone wouldn't have killed uh, the Gideon. So I decided the gods willing enough, and I just say go. I've got this Sphinx's Revelation. Oops, I accidentally. <laughs> All right, so my opponent plays uh, the Ageless. He actually drew that. Um, Narset's at eight. And I drew, uh, I cast the Sphinx's Revolution. I, ca I drew swords and Ojitai. 
which are both great. So I swords Madami. I swing in at Narset. I pump up this guy to make sure that Narset goes down to two. And I play Lan, and I believe I play Ojitai as well. Because Ojitai is also very difficult to deal with. Opponent takes up uh, Narset. They play Daxos. I've got two counters, though, and I just drew a Temporal Manipulation. So I swing this one at Narset. Um, it's got a counter on it, so I can kill Narset. Um, and then I swing these two at their face. And then I draw all these. I believe I pick Celestial Colonnade. I do. I got some counters on that guy. And I, uh, I cast the Temporal Manipulation. And that is enough for my opponent right there. So another win without Tygum. Um, but uh, it was largely on the back of the bribery for Avison and being able to protect that Avison. All right, I got another game. I am on the play. Playing against Sidisi, Undead Vizier, and I have one land. And I'm going to mulligan it. All right, then. I guess. I guess I'll keep this. Looks fine. Not great. Probably scry any land to the bottom. That is an expensive counter spell. I'm on the play. I'm gonna take it. Then Mystic Confluence might actually be able to stop something. Uh, I shouldn't have six when I have a Windswept Heath that could Wasteland it or something like that. I mean, people don't Wasteland Windswept Heath, but it's just a Swamp and a Thoughtseize. Inquisition. Dark Ritual. For a jet medallion. Alright, well that's pretty darn good. And an addle. Choose blue. Please choose blue. <laughs> I enjoy that. I probably actually should just sack this wind up Heath. Oh no, because I have the Mystic Confluence. I want that. I'm going to do it now, though. Tundra. And they know we don't have anything. Scrap. Well, Batter Skull doesn't do that much. I'd rather eat at their hand. Alright, so that Jet Medallion is going to be a bit of a problem. Opponent used some resources doing all that, though. Um, this was a 1 for 0. This was just, you know, kind of a 1 for 0 as well. So if we just Council's Judgment the Jet Medallion or something like that, um, I don't know if I want to do that instead of Sword of Feast or Famine. All right, they're just going straight for the Buried Alive. Does that mean they have both of the pieces? If they drew a Buried Alive, there's like seven, eight reanimation spells in the deck. It's, it's going to be hard to beat. 
If they just naturally drew it, it happens sometimes. There's only one buried alive in the deck. And when you naturally draw it, it's usually a nut's hand. I possibly could have bluffed a counterspell, but I don't think that's correct. All right. Well, I'm going to... I mean, maybe they have a three mana reanimation spell and... We're not doing much else. If they have it, they have it. It's if they don't have a land too. It's another important piece of the puzzle. So very, very unlikely. Wasteland, all right. All right. They missed a the land drop. So we're not totally done. There's another land drop. Besiege the queen. Nothing I can do about that. I might be able to hit a counter spell. I mean, maybe fire and ice would have been better for hitting counter spells because you get a draw card. They predictably get anime dead. Yeah, we're at one mana off. I mean, I guess we just <laughs> maybe a little randomly di discard to animate dead. I doubt it. Maybe they'll try and play around a counter spell. If they do it for one turn, then we actually do have a counterspell. Cabal Coffers, that doesn't generate mana yet. If they just go for it, then... Oh yeah, okay, it generates one mana. Alright, I'm not going to make them do it. Never drew any counter spells. Maybe I should have. Maybe the Mystic Confluence was too ambitious. All right, I got a game. I am on the draw against Edgar Markov. I have two rats, but only one land. I think I'm still going to keep it. There are two lands. I got two lands and a Shadow Rift. So I can cycle Shadow Rift. Uh, I guess blue. We can spell Pierce to cycle Shadow Rift. Shadow Rift's not going to do anything against this deck. We're just looking to get to this Wrath. Nothing else matters. And right, that's the land. All right. Um, I might just want to remand and not worry about the Stromkirk Noel. We take four. Hmm. Might actually be able to stabilize with just the uh, Geist. I 
If they somehow manage to deal with the Geist, we have a Wrath. I'm going to try and get more cards out of their hand. Force them to play into the... Vampire Nighthawk. Uh, let's portent ourselves. Um, I know misstep could still be pretty good. Minimum misstep, land, essence scatter, no, play the land, say go. We'll take two from the death, uh, the flying death toucher. Um, okay, not worried about that one. Yeah, they're going for this route here. I think I have another turn that I don't need to uh, do anything. Kind of want to lull them into a false sense of security. They do have this shambling vent though. So we should definitely consider that. Hmm. Do I remand it? It does draw me into the mental misstep. This one. Oh, it's flying. Okay. Never mind. I never noticed that had thing had flying. Yeah, clearly that's a block. Just get a planes here. They had to know that's coming. Still got to deal with the vent. Play Tigum. Tigum blocks the vent. We can counter Edgar Markov.
gatekeeper. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Probably could have played the Sword of Feast and Famine, couldn't I have? Yeah, I could have. I did it again. Hmm. Did they miss the uh, chance to kill it? GG. All right, <laughs> eight life stabilized with Ty Tigum actually looking pretty good there. That uh, that free counter spell that was pretty awesome. Another game I am on the play, playing against the Get Rog Monster. I think this is very keepable. I think I want a Flooded Strand and get a land out of my deck. I've already got five, but one of them is a Wasteland. Looking to hit like a dual land, like one of their double lands. Blooming Marsh, all right. Play Howard Fountain Tapped. Let's go Nimbus Maze. Forest. Alright. Well, let's just play an island. I've drawn nothing but lands, haven't I? Oh my god. Let's kill that thing. I maybe could have played a Tygum, but there's nothing to misdirect. I technically could have countered that. I don't think that's correct, though. Life from the loam. All right, that's fine. I have really literally drawn nothing but lands. That is insane. I mean, we're not out of it. Yeah, they got the beside you back. Duress. I can misdirection to turn it against them, but then I lose my disallow. I'm just gonna, if I was at five mana, I'd be able to uh, misdirection that. All right, chase the mind sculpture. That is a real card. Let's brainstorm. Put two of these lands back and then shuffle. 
Please don't draw three lands. Please don't draw three lands. Okay. Wrath of God, Delver Secrets. Those are real cards. Sphinx's Revolution. Do I want to play Delver into this possible Wrath next turn? No. I'll probably keep it for a misdirection or something like that. I don't know. Because then I can't misdirection without getting rid of pitching my sphinxes. I'm not going to misdirection. Uh, maybe I could have played it, but. I'm just going to play it this way. And then they'll most likely get wrong. There's the frog right there. The frog of the hour. Not surprising. If they have a thought seize or something like that, then I can misdirection it. Inquisition doesn't hit Wrath of God. They already played Duress. No, it's just Forest. Playing Elf or something? That would be great. All right, let's draw three cards. Temporal Mastery, Bribery, Snapcaster Mage. Not a lot going on here. Let's do the Temporal Mastery next. Let's play this land. That's Wrath. And then, let's play Delver. We can bring up a land for days. Because they, if they play a land and play Get Rock, we can daze it. Life in the Loaming, I'm not gonna, I can't daze that. I mean, I can, but it doesn't do anything. Uncounterable. I mean, I'm just pointing it at my Delver, which sucks. It's like a three for one, but we get to keep the Jace. There's a temporal man. Uh, there's a time walk on top of our library. And magic has a problem with, oh, it, did it come back? Please come back. Nope. Oh, magic online. Oh, this was a really interesting one. I really want to, oh, that's too bad. Oh, Magic Online. I think we were in a really good position there. <laughs> Opponent decides not to do it again. I That's too bad. I really wanted to see how that one goes. All right, I got another match. I am on the play. I'm just going to call that last one a draw. But I think it was interesting enough to, uh, to keep. I'm going to keep this hand. I think I think there was a good chance I was winning that one. Show the beauty of magic online sometimes. Playing against Aetheros, God of Passage. If you're not familiar, it's uh, whenever another creature you own dies, return it to your hand unless target opponent pays three life. Um, it's one of the gods from Theros. It's black-white. 
Um, and one it's indestructible and as long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven it's not a cre it, it isn't a creature it's a five four if your devotion is seven or greater militia captain all right looks like some sort of like aggro deck and we have a wrath of god so let's impulse I mean, it's hard for Monastery Mentor to be bad, isn't it? Yeah. So other cards are all really good. Do I wait a turn on Monastery Mentor, though? It doesn't really do anything this turn. We might want to Wrath. I'm going to wait a turn. I don't think I'm going to Wrath next turn. My opponent only has one creature in play. Guildgate. They're nowhere close to four or more creatures. This thing gets really big if it flips and you've got a decent number of creatures. All right, I'm going to mentor now and hold the face shield up. All right, they say go. Ancient tomb. Uh, I don't. Oh yeah, it's a sorcery. Uh, choose this permanent. Walk the plank. Well, we'll choose black. They're reading the bones. Now they can't really attack. I paid four life for that. Read the bones. Oh, that's so good. Um, let's play this untapped. I was going to play the, uh, the batter skull, but Jit is even better. It's so good. There are times when it's bad, but there are a lot of times when it's good. I'm going to kill this thing while they're untapped, or they're tapped out. And before they play like Aetheros or something, they have to pay two life for it. Three life? Free life. It's cool to see a deck that Monastery Mentor is really good in, though. Banisher Priest. All right. Maybe that was a reason to keep the tokens around. The Worn Power Stone. That's a lot of mana. I'm just going to throw a token away. There's not much reason not to. I 
just this one. Actually, oh, I could have done both. I think it's actually better not to block. This only cost me one token. And now we have a God's Willing to Protect our Monastery Mentor. Five mana, six mana, Demon of Dark Schemes. All right. Um... I'm just using the prowess trader. The black doesn't really matter. The land doesn't really matter. Put that at the bottom. I'll lose these two monks. Hundred percent gonna oust that thing. My monastery mentor mentor has pro black. They might have a removal spell. They paused for a second to the last turn. they don't have anything else big like that. They've got a lot of mana and they're playing one power stone in their deck. And Ancient Tomb. Whenever you cast, I don't have a chance to interrupt that trigger. Alright. Got to get rid of this thing. Oh, it costs three, yeah. I don't know why I thought it costs less. Looking like a Monastery Mentor Voltron deck right now. Pro Black, pretty awesome here. to chump here. Yeah. I don't mind that. <laughs> I even got this batter skull in my deck. Or in my hand. That's all but one of the, uh, the equipments in my whole deck. A lot of mana. Oh, they, oh, they, they drew it again. All right. I forgot that uh, I ousted that. This is... Uh, yep, yeah, I gotta do this right now. I have five counters on this, right? No, I have four counters on it. Alright, well they can bring something back. Shoot, they can bring back a Banisher Priest. Is that to the graveyard? under your control. Oh, they're drawing a card. They could have brought something back. Did they play a land? Basilica. Yeah, they could have brought back the Banisher Priest. That would have been pretty darn good. Oh, 
Although I just jit the Banisher Priest and get the uh, Monastery Mentor back. I just... So I guess it's not the best. Animate dead, banisher priest. Can't interrupt that. Don't want to do this while it's on the stack. That ability, though, that's going to be a problem. Equip here. Equip here. Do I vapor snag this thing? Six mana. They had enough to, yeah, let's not worry about it. Let's play tag him. They are going for the Banisher Priest. They're banishing Tygum. Oh, I did that wrong. Tap two, untap creatures in control. All right. Opponents at eight life. And they're attacking me with, I guess I can't block with the five five. But I, I definitely should have put the banner, I forgot to put the banisher, uh, the tagum underneath the banisher priest. Etheros. All right. I think I can do lethal here. Oh, I can definitely do lethal here. Uh, kill that thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can time warp and uh, do the, the prowess trigger does lethal. I am on the play. Playing against Edgar Markov. Again, okay. I have no islands and a bunch of blue cards. All right. I don't want that. The Seagate Oracle is a good blocker. Reflector Mage is a pretty good blocker. Yeah, I don't have any counter spells anyways. Insolent Neonate has Menace. I definitely don't want to be wastelanding anything until I've got some creatures on the board. Alright. Drew another land. Not great. Metallic Mimic. 
Well, I'm going to... That one isn't a vampire, so it doesn't create a token. I'm definitely going to reflect or mage that thing. It holds it off for two turns. Oh, another land. Not what I wanted. Let's reflect or mage. You really want that thing early. That's when it does the best work. All right, what's this thing? Wreckish air. Ooh, whenever a vampire you control, that's actually really good. Can't block that. Hmm. That's pretty good. Is it good enough, though? It's about the same as the Seagate Oracle, isn't it? What do I get? Do I get a JIT? JIT's pretty awesome. This is probably better than the Seagate Oracle, to be honest. I think it's too risky to go for the Batter Skull. As awesome as Batter Skull would be. Let's just go straight for the JIT. Keep our blockers back. There's the Mimic. Can they get in? There's the Assassin. That's really good, but it's a little bit expensive. <laughs> Musical attackers. Another land. Let's go with this thing. I don't care if it dies. That's a good block. Let's kill that thing. Let's hold the other one. Play a Seagate Oracle and get an Augur Bolus, I guess. Another blocker. Might get us a Wrath. Impulse is kind of the same thing. It's a little more restrictive. Thought sees. All right, you can have my auger bullets. It's too bad. I've drawn a lot of lands. I've drawn pretty much exclusively lands. I think their attacks are still. There might be okay block attacks. All right. Yeah, that's that's a bad attack. All right, let's block there and there. Put some counters on th some things. Another land, jeez, all right.
I guess I could have attacked with a Seagate Oracle. I probably could have stopped one of these with a counter. I didn't realize that. That's name human. Still have over 20 life, so it's not all bad. Dealt with the most problematic creatures. Gatekeeper, target player sacrifices a creature. All right, well, it's clearly the Seagate Oracle. You can get in with a mana sky, that's fine. Another frickin' land. So many lands. Let's attack with that thing anyways. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, it's got one token on it. Can I... Yeah, no, I just, uh, just kill the 2-3, I think. The 2-2, two -two, I, I think. That's fine. Uh, that's Wasteland. The Vents. Let's put a Jit on this guy. And hope we can continue to live. All right. I think it's time to kill that thing. No. I need all these counters on Tygem. So I can attack with impunity. <sighs> that is a ridiculous number of lands. Like, I need an instant, I could have had, like, rebound on, like, any spell that I had drawn in the last, like, three turns. All right. They sack that to draw a card. That's a good sign for me. Instant or sorcery, but oops, no, 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 equip, just move it over. Might as well play this land. basically a free block. All right. Uh, yeah, 
well, let's just attack. Got a ton of tokens, so it can be it's gonna be really hard for a haster to get in. I probably should have played a land. As long as opponent has less ten or less life. All right, opponent opponent packs it in. Managed to. Uh, Beat Edgar Markov again. That was uh, that was a really interesting one. I, I, was, I actually, when I put these small creatures in, I was like, yeah, that's probably a good way to, to beat these kind of aggro low to the ground decks. These one threes are pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty awesome. Well, the deck ended up looking pretty good, but that's largely because white-blue is a pretty good color combination, especially for uh, control matchups and stuff like that. And largely not because of Tygum. Like the one time that we were able to rebound, a uh, time warp does not, you know, it doesn't even out with all the times that another commander would have been better. Like Dragonlord Ojitai is a fairly reasonable commander. Um, still doesn't see a lot of play these days, but, you know, or, you know, on the other end, Geist of St. Traff. This deck kind of plays both of those kind of cards. Um... And so it's like a tempo control. It, it, there's probably a better build for the deck. Um, you know, there's some of these cards weren't that great, but they were decent. I mean, like being able to protect from a removal spell with these things is pretty good. Um, the problem, though, is that Tygum just, it's just really an awkward card. It's hard to find the time to get him out. His abilities aren't that good. Um, you know, playing another commander or even adding another color and going like Esper to get better removal or something like that, I think would all be better than just playing Tygum. I really enjoyed playing the deck and it turned out really well, but I didn't get to really get the interactions with Tygum that I wanted, which is why you want to play Tygum in the first place. So if you're not going to be able to get off those kind of interactions, uh, maybe just maybe just play it in multiplayer commander or something like that. It's probably pretty good there, um, but in in this deck, I just didn't see it working that well. But you know, pretty good record with it. It's fun if you really want to try. Maybe you can find a better deck list or something like that. But uh, that's all I'm, I have time for today. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.